Hey, my name is Erin Micklow, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY studded sandal. No sound is heard from Unit 2. So to get started, you're going to need some studs. I buy mine at studsandspikes.com. A stitching awl, also from studsandspikes.com. Some jewelry pliers. You can use regular pliers, but I prefer the jewelry pliers because they have a finer tip. Um, and some electrical tape. So to get started, you're going to line your setup approximately where you want it and puncture it through as much as you can into the shoe so that it makes two little holes where the prongs were. If you're strong enough, you can go ahead and punch the stud all the way through, but I find that very difficult, so this is where the stitching all comes in handy. So I'm going to take the little marks I made where the prongs were, and I'm going to drive the stitching all through to make a hole. And for instance, this hole, I lost the mark already because I didn't press hard enough, so you, you can just go through again and press it again to make a new mark. puncture through with your stitching all. And then you're going to press your stud prongs through the two holes you just made. And then you're going to come around back and you're going to press the prongs down with your pliers. There's a lot of different tools for studying. Um, I find that pliers are the easiest, especially jewelry pliers because they grip. The nose is smaller on them, so you can grab the prongs easier. And then you just want to bend the prongs down. So there we go, we have our first stud in. And I wanted to make mine at kind of an angle. I mean, this is all preference. You can have them straight if you want. That would be straight, but I kind of wanted mine to be at an angle like that. And so I'm gonna have mine spaced. This is also preference. Um, and what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be alternating eventually. So you wanna kind of have even spaces between, and then for the second row, I'll be putting a stud where there's the space on the first row. So again, you're going to make your marks. If you can, if the fabric allows it, if it's easy enough, you can push your studs all the way through. But for these shoes, um, the fabric's a little too thick for that, so that's why the stitching all is helpful. It's coming along. You can kind of start to see, get an idea of what the shoe is going to look like. So again, same thing. You're going to press it in to make your marks of where to draw the holes. Take your awl and drive it through to make the holes. And if you mess up on any of them with the spacing or anything, um, you can always just pull it out and re realign it. I mean, obviously, once you've made your holes, you want to try to line it up and, and be as precise as possible. But if it's just a little bit off and a little bit crooked, you can just pull it out and redo it. Especially because if you can't 
get in there to press it down, you can kind of grab the prong and twist it with the pliers because the way that jewelry pliers are is they're kind of angled, they're not straight like a normal plier. So these are lifesavers when it comes to those, those hard to reach places when you're studying. so far and so here it's questionable I don't want it to be uneven so I think for this side I'll start with the stud here um, because this is all just about spacing and if I try to squeeze another one in here the spacing is not going to be the same as the rest of the shoe so we're just going to start on the second row and like I said you're going to fill the spots where the holes were for the first row kind of makes it, it makes it look more symmetrical. electrical tape is going to come into play so that the prongs on the other back side of this aren't going to irritate your skin on your feet um, they can be a little sharp I just am going to put a piece of electrical tape on the inside of it covering the prongs so that it's a smooth surface and it won't be scratching my feet when I'm wearing them so you just want to line the inside of the strap where the studs are with the electrical tape and I think it'll just make it a lot more comfortable as smooth as possible, as possible to cover the prongs. So, on to the next strap. So, same story. I'm going to start close to the edge. Punch the stud in to make your little marker holes. And then you're going to take your stitching all and poke the hole all the way through. This strap should be a little easier to work with because this one is bigger. Not as small as this one, so it won't be as hard to get in there to close the, the prongs. Super easy DIY studded sandal. <laughs>